because we all know specs matter in Bluetooth. All the great spec Bluetooth headsets sound amazing. You get a Qualcomm APT X AAC SBC support codec. You get Bluetooth specification with the Power Class 2 1.8 milliwatts. I call a milliwatt. All sounds good, but I'm sure like every other Bluetooth headset out there, it's going to sound horrible. Microphone for answering calls, volume control, music controls. Oh, man. Oh, they're already on my head. And I'm already listening to some music. But let's let's just take you through what you get. You get a box. You get a huge manual. You get some paper. And the manual is in 80,000 different languages and tells you how to use the on-off switch and all of that. And then you get these headphones here, or as you can see in the picture there, everything here for the most part is made of complete plastic. So not a lot of metal, maybe a little bit, a little slither of metal here on the band. And you don't get a lot of action in that band. These don't go very big. This is so if you have a big head, you may have a little bit of a problem wearing these, but they're, you know, on ear comfortable headphones i've actually the beginning was a joke i've spent a lot of time with these headphones one of the things i like is you've got a physical on off switch you have a physical track changing switch physical answer the call switch you know it's all in one it toggles back and forth you got of course the ability to go hardwire here with 3.5 millimeter and your usb charge and these actually very much like everything audio technica are exactly as they say here, 30 hours of continuous and up to a thousand hours in standby. I mean, I haven't tested all thousand hours, but I can tell you they always have juice when I pick them up as long as I've turned them off after a playing session. I've used them to work out. I've used them to watch movies. I've used them to listen to music, obviously. And I'm very, very impressed with these headphones for Bluetooth headphones. Audio-Technica Air these 8900Xs, I've talked about this before. These are the best headphones, I think, on the market that I've used in the price range. Uh, I've not found a Bluetooth headset that was worthy of actually keeping. But I would say that these Audio-Technica ATH AR3BTs were one of the headphones that I had a lot of hope for. Number one, because it's at the price point that I'm wanting to spend for a pair of headphones. Number two, because it's Audio-Technica, and I have a lot of love for this brand and a lot of hope that they can actually bring something worthwhile to the Bluetooth world. So what I'll tell you about the soundstage on this is that it sticks to some of the Audio-Technica patterns that we're used to. You get these beautiful highs, so you can hear the voices are very clear if you listen to country music or you listen to... Um, you know, music that you're wanting to accentuate the voice of the singer or you're watching videos or movies where you get a lot of dialogue, you're going to get a lot of joy out of the highs on these. In the mid sections where most of your music is, there's also plenty to fall in love with. There's a lot of depth in the mids. You're getting all of the different instruments that you can hear clearly you know, and you also get some good bass. Not great bass, but good bass. So Audio-Technica put their money where it counts. You don't get the fancy packaging that you flip open with tons of color photos of dudes climbing mountains and girls running down hills in scantily clad clothes. You just get a plain box for the most part with simple art on it because they didn't spend their money there. You're not getting tons of metal and logos emblazoned all over them. They just got the simple logo on the side. You're getting some plastic, but it's well-made plastic. It's not cheap headphones, and you can fold these up, and you're not getting even a carrying case that comes with these. And they fold up in kind of a wonky way, really. They, you know, I mean, I guess if you had a carrying case, you could shove this uh, somewhere into one of your backpacks, but nothing spectacular there. But the money was put where it should have been put, which is in the drivers. Now, I wish they had more to offer in the drivers as far as loudness goes, because that's the area where these miss the most. If you're wanting, if you like to listen to your music super loud, 
you're not going to get a lot of loudness out of this. They definitely made it, especially in the Bluetooth side, so that you're going to be limited on how loud you can make these headphones. And my guess is that's to keep the distortion on these down a little bit. With that said, they're plenty loud enough to be in a noisy area and still hear them. They're plenty loud enough, but you're not going to you know, be able to blow out your ears. You're not going to be uh, trying to turn these down because you accidentally put them up too high and you, you know, like, ah, I gotta get them off my head. They're too loud. You're not gonna be doing that with these because they don't get that loud. Uh, they get loud enough to block out noise, but not much more than that. And uh, as far as, like I said, the quality and comfort of these, the headband feels pretty comfortable. It's got a nice little padding cushion there that you can see, nothing too fancy. They're on the ear headphones. So if you like that on the ear style, you'll definitely enjoy it. For me, I prefer over the ear headphones instead of on the ear and in working out when you're sweating, this fake leather kind of started to feel a little bit irritating for working out. So I really wouldn't recommend these. I don't think they market them towards working out headphones. You could use them for that, but they weren't super comfortable as far as once you start sweating there for that reason, uh, because probably the fake pleather and also sitting on top of your ears kind of makes them sweat more. You're, there's not a lot of sound that leaks from these, so these would be perfectly acceptable in an airplane or something like that, and especially since the volumes don't go too high, it's good. I really, really like the clear mids and highs on these. The bass, like I said, could leave something to be desired. The build quality is okay. They spent more time on the speakers than anywhere else. How do I feel about these headphones? I mean, when you compare them to everything else in the Bluetooth world in this price range, they are probably one of the best Bluetooth headphones on the market. I would give them, compared to other Bluetooth headphones, 4.5, 4.8 out of 5, which is the highest rating I've given any Bluetooth headset, period. Because they have the best Bluetooth sound out there, they last the longest, and they have an incredible range. You can walk in other rooms and downstairs with these and still have a strong signal and very fast and snappy. No apps or anything to change or equalize sound, but everything seemed to work really well with the iPhone and Android device and connecting to my computers uh, where it memorized and was able to connect to them immediately when I wanted to. So I love that about it. I love the physical switches. I wish they had a little more as far as the depth of the sound goes, but in a Bluetooth world that just doesn't seem to exist yet. So I will continue my hunt for the greatest Bluetooth headphones I guess in this price range there are, but at the moment, if you were to ask me what are the best pair of Bluetooth headphones you found to purchase for the price, it would be these ATH AR3BTs, Audio-Technica proving again that if anybody can do it, they can. I like them better than the Beats headphones. I like them better than the Jaybirds. I like them better than all of the off-brand uh, Bluetooth headphones that we've tried. I like them better than the Bose, certainly. They are the best out there for Bluetooth in this price range right now. Go check them out. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you've tried these out and what your thoughts are on them. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Go.